spot. Household trick right there. Use some wood. So basically we just, right now what we're looking to do is just lift the car a little bit higher so that way we can uh, slide the yeah. spring that we're gonna cut. Uh, it actually just came out speeding up the spring. Yeah, yeah, it was speeding up. <laughs> go ahead and show this. That was pretty easy. Now we're probably gonna cut maybe a coil and a half here. I want the back to be a little bit higher than the front in case we gotta tow anything, any junk yard trips, you know, to, to hold a little weight. So let's go ahead. Right That was left over. This is pretty much useless. This is what's used to seat the bottom, right? Seat the bottom uh, coil. But no point in really putting that on there, right? Uh, we can probably squeeze it in there, I'm sure. This is it. that settles a little bit more with time mm -hmm. so it'll probably be an inch above the front we probably could have done the same so as you can tell the ridge is a little a little higher than the front um, we probably could have done two coils in the rear but then after it settled I'm sure it probably would have been a little lower in the rear than the front the springs probably a third smaller than the front um, but I think with time it'll look pretty good. Alright, so let's move on to the next side. That was pretty easy. Easier than the front. For sure. Okay. Alright guys, I realized that um, you can't really see much of what was going on there. So basically I'm going to have Manny point out there the main bolt that he was uh, working on. Basically that's the bottom of your shock right there. 
Um, and basically, all we need to do is just remove that so that way the suspension can drop down a little bit further. And um, you know, where that uh, spring is, if you can kind of see from where his hand is at, uh, what we want to do is just ensure that we can slide that out uh, by any means. So by doing, by removing that, um, that bolt, it uh, decompresses the shock and makes the suspension sort of drop down, that rear tra trailing arm there, um, sort of droop down so that he can remove it and um, then we'll be, be doing the same as uh, we did to this side and, and kind of cut it to the length that we want. Alright, so Manny just finished uh, kind of taking out that bolt on there so um, that shock kind of came free. I think the next part of this is going to require um, to basically see if we can get that spring out. Um, I think last time what we did, we raised the car out a little bit higher, but we did it from the back. So uh, where was the mounting point that you used to back it up front from that corner? Right here. You did the other side there, right? Yeah. Okay, so this opposite side closer to the muffler. Because once the trailing arm drops, it's yeah. going to be a full droop. So we have to lift the car. And that's what we did right there. Very good. Let's get to it. Let's try to get this spring or this shock off. It needs a little bit more. Maybe if I lift the tire with this jack, since we already got here, it might be a little easier. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Oh, I didn't think about that one. <laughs> and it'll slide out pretty easy. Like that. There we go. Very good. When in doubt, use two by fours. Pretty easy, guys. There you go. Now we cut. That's it. Put it back in. See what it looks like. So now we've got to reposition the shock back to where it belongs. So we have to raise the rear lower control arm up a bit, line it up with the shock, and uh, make it go back to his rightful home. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically lower the blue jack that we see there uh, so that Manny can kind of clock the spring in the right location just to make sure that it goes on right to where it's supposed to be seated. So let me go ahead and go, uh, go turn around and we'll do the same thing on this side. <laughs> Now 
Now we're a little lower to the ground, a little lower to the earth. Exactly. Where we're meant to be. Exactly. Exactly. Not as high. Muy bueno. All right, everybody, we're ready for the test drive. The next video is from the inside of the uh, car. You ready? Let's do it. All right. All right, we're doing our uh, first test drive after uh, lowering this thing. So, wish us luck. Let's do this. We're off. Man, it's dark. Front seemed pretty nice and stiff, you know. Find the auto. Okay, bud. See if it turns on. I don't even know how to work it. Alright, I'm figuring it out. I thought maybe it's on the on your dash. Is that what I hear? Maybe. Let me open the window. I think we're going to have to take another turn. I'm just to ensure that. Definitely after we lowered it, he's in alignment. But we kind of figured that. It's got two busted tie rods anyway, so once we get those fixed. Yep, it's rubbing a little bit. It's okay, man. It's, it's a okay. rat rod, man. Yeah, there you go. It's As you can tell, the steering wheel is crooked as hell, going straight. So that's a good indicator that you need an alignment. A little rubbing, but nothing major. A little rubbing on the front left and uh, front right sides. Tires are pretty beefy too, so. Yeah, that is true. So we could solve that one of two ways since you're camber worn. You know, sides are uh, a bit of an issue. Maybe we could go with a lower profile tire. Definitely. That's one way. Um, eventually, you know, when you get some coilovers, I guess you're going to have a little bit more of adjustability. But Definitely. In the meantime, how's the back sound so far? Not too bad. It's got like a little clicking, but it had that before anyway. So, like you mentioned, those rear shocks might be uh, blown. But uh, at this point, <laughs> At this point, it's not a big deal to me. Like we said earlier, this is a budget build. It's just a little beater we got so I can keep my STI in the garage. Um, I have read that the uh, second generation DSM Eclipses, you know, uh, Coney rear shocks fit on here direct fit. And uh, that might be a better solution once I get front coilovers. If I find a decent set off of eBay or one of these JDM stores around town. But uh, overall, man, I'm pretty satisfied with the look of it. It's going to be a while before we, you know, get it to where we think it's pretty badass, but it's a start. All right, so as you guys can see, it's already nighttime. Um, basically, our impressions off of the, um, you know, the, the drive. Not too bad. Front's pretty nice and stiff. We've concluded that the rear needs a little work, but for what it is, not too bad. Yeah, not bad. So the rubbing, uh, we heard a little bit of rubbing on, on uh, the video earlier as we were driving by, so we determined that the actual fender aprons or the, um, basically the splash guards that are underneath are the ones that are um, kind of causing most of the noise, so we might actually just remove them. You know, Who cares, you know? Exactly, we don't really need them. Exactly. Uh, for what we did, so we kind of knew, you know, because of the beefier tire and you know how low the car sits, it was going to rub anyways, I and mean, that was something that we probably should have uh, been taking a shot of and maybe showing you guys, but I guess I figured it's just a plastic part, you can just, uh, you know, rip it out and check it. So, or trim it to your desire, really. Yeah, and that way it'll probably clear whatever you want. So, um, overall, we're pretty satisfied, I think it went pretty smooth, I think some of our other projects don't go as smoothly. Yeah. Um, only ran out to get stuff once, uh, everything else... We and we needed to. And we really needed to, uh, so thanks for next time, lug nuts. Um, we're probably going to maybe see how, what else we can do for this car, I think uh, we're talking about maybe some arrows, some custom 
Um, front splinter, way. yeah, yeah. wing. Front, we got a few ideas. Yeah, a few ideas. So we'll see how long this car lasts if it doesn't blow up or leave us stranded on the side of the road. Which has happened before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which has happened. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, you guys will stick around for our next endeavor. And I think. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. So appreciate you, uh, you guys uh, sticking out with us so far. And I guess until next time. Good. <laughs>